Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Tina with She Modern, um, I ordered like, oh, let's see, I ordered red, blue, and yellow of these sheer tints and um, number four of the reusable stencil. So I'm kind of like buying them one at a time when I have a little bit of extra money. And she always includes extras for me and I so appreciate that. Um, she also sent me some really pretty mixed flowers and those are water decals or the sky blue the blue green sheer black and white and you always get a little mixing canvas and um, I have the, the glue gel all right so what I've been wanting to do is my ring so this is uh, you know just one of those groove rings that you see like a billion commercials for on YouTube um, and my rings drive me crazy clinking around on my fingers so I almost never wear them so I got one of these I use the excuse to my husband that um, well I never wear my wedding rings and while I'm in Walmart all the men are hitting on me so you know I need a ring <laughs> anyway uh, I think it's like a feather like feathers yeah so I kind of wanted to do colors like this and then maybe stamp a feather. So I started with just a white base. I'm gonna tap a little of these all out onto my little butterfly here. All right, I've got this cool little uh, like tweezery tool, squeezer tool. Um, I like it because you can grab stuff and when you let go it's pinched. I think it's called a pinchy tool anyway. Yeah, pinchy tool. That's what it's called, Eileen. So I think I'm just going to show you on my thumb and then do the rest off camera. So I've just got a tiny bit of the darker blue, like a gradient out, and a diagonal. And I'm just gonna just keep tapping that out a little. with the other side of my little, I just took a bunch of spon uh, sponge and just cut little pieces off. I am, I do want to try out this white, so I'm going to put a little white on here. Oh, I think having this white will help like soften up some of these, and these are the sheer tints, so I feel like they're pretty pigmented for sheer, but this is over white. Oh yeah, see, I can get that blue faded down a little bit more. Oh, I like that okay and there it is top coated with just some no white top coat this is from Maniology which um, again I'm annoyed with them because they haven't restocked it 
uh, Litter and Run has some really good No Wipe Top Coat Madam Glam. Um, I really liked this too, and it's from Amazon. I'll put the links, but I contaminated that with glitter. Um, I do just have uh, the Techie Coat from the base, the white base on my nail still that I'm using to stick the glitter to, but if that gets to where it won't work anymore, I'm going to be using this glue gel. Alright, so you can also use, um, let's hope I don't ruin this, a brush. Um, this brush I have... cleaned really well with a lint roller and then sprayed it with alcohol and rubbed it on a paper towel also. So let's hope I don't screw this up. So I think a brush you can kind of blend that out even a little more and extend that down. If you just want a fade with one color, it's easier to do with a brush. And I'm tapping that out. So this one I think did the best and I need to blend that out just a little more. I think I'm going to get a bunch of just cheap brushes that I can designate you know, certain colors. But if you want to achieve this look, you don't use gel or powders, uh, that's okay. You can use polishes in a sponge and just do a gradient with a regular polish and sponge to get the same kind of look. Alright, I probably am going to mat these in the end, but I'm going to go ahead and put a no clean top coat on this. stamp it. I just really like these. <laughs> that was really easy to do. Um, not as messy as using a sponge and regular polish to do a gradient either. So here's the plate I'm going to use. Um, I got these, I don't know, I think I was picked um, on their Facebook group to get their newest plates. Um, so I have Black Queen Nail Design, don't know who that is, have to check her out. And um, Ajubis plates, I love these plates. They're double sided, you always get two in a package. They're fantastic. They're really reasonably priced. And as you can see, um, here's what I've decided to do. And I'm just doing like kind of a reciprocal gradient. So the opposite of what my nail was gradiated, gradiated it is as, wow, not enough coffee today. But there's the image that I use. I'm probably gonna use a couple other images, but these are so pretty. I just love them. 
and here's the other side. These are always double sided. The etching is always perfect. You don't have to be really fast with these plates because the edging is so good that um, if your polish sits there for a minute and you're a little slow, not a minute, but you know, a few seconds, it will still pick up. So I'm just gonna kind of do a, a gradient like I did on my thumb and I want the dark color to the light on my nail and you know and hope that yellow shows up it did but and I'm just gonna blend it a little on the plate and And I got a couple of things this month in the polish pickup. I didn't buy a lot. I really don't need any more polishes. I mean, if I see something that just knocks my socks off, I'm gonna buy it, but um, this is Hazy Bit of Light, and it is a matte top coat, and I've never seen one with glimmers and glitters in it, so I'm gonna try that. That looks amazing. And this is a fast dry spray. Beach, please. <gasps> That's uh, my kind of profanity. <laughs> this stuff smells amazing. It smells like a fruity floral beach. I don't know how else to smell, how else it's, if you ever smell red door, it's slightly red door. So we're gonna try that too. No instructions, I don't know. It's, I'm sure, a, a light oil, oil dries. It smells so good, I may just use it for, 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 pu for fume, for fume, jeez, perfume, how's that? Let's go with the thumb and see what we think. Beautiful, just a little bit of glimmer. Kind of iridescent, flaky. And drying down matte. Oh, beach please, I love that. And this is from Anchor and Heart. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be um, using the crap out of this stuff. If you are in the US, um, I don't know, just comment down below something and I'll enter you into a random giveaway. You have to be 18, you have to be subscribed to me, blah, 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 okay? And I'm going to be giving away one of these Maniology Cotton Claws right here. And the Maniology, tiny little, kill little, kill little, teeny tiny pineapple stamper. It's tiny, okay? It's tiny. It's adorable. You're also going to get the Pineapple Whip Starter Kit. This was not claimed last month, so to the person that didn't claim their winnings, too bad, so sad. My giveaways do not last long, so I don't hang, let it sit for two weeks before I pick a winner. It's usually two or three days, so I don't know what day this is posting, Saturday, maybe. Um, probably in two days, probably by Sunday, Monday at the latest, I'm gonna random draw somebody. And I will comment on your comment. You know, I'm down there, I'm talking to you guys all the time. If you're commenting, if you're taking the time to comment on my video, I'm taking the time to talk back to you and comment back, give you a heart at least on your comment. 
thank you and I really do appreciate you guys cheese and crackers look at that I knocked my polish over and spilt it on my nail before I took pictures but since I messed that up and had to go back anyway um, instead of this Nico from Maniology I used banana colada from hit the bottle um, pretty much the same yellow but hit the bottle more opaque oh look at that yeah mm, I don't know ignore the cord um, so my son got a new bed so we had to get rid of a dresser I didn't want to get rid of the dresser because this one was like my grandmother's it's like really nice that was my mom and dad's they bought that at a yard sale someplace and it's like a hundred years old with the original marble top I don't know that I like the TV on it but that's how it is this monstrosity is going to replace this disaster that my husband keeps piling this kitchen table up with all this crap yes I understand my purse is there but um, I don't hang my clothes on the chair or leave caulking in the kitchen what's going on down there huh what's happening down there Just like crawling over dogs, don't you? A horse fly bit her on the tail like five days ago and she's still every time I come outside freaking out because she thinks that a bitey bug's got her butt. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Jay's a good girl. Her frisbee dog. <laughs> 